Larry Nanda is getting ready to start her career and make Canada her permanent home. The international student from India just graduated from Carleton University in Ottawa. But in order to land a full-time job, Nanda needs a work permit. If I don't get that in time combined with the strike, there is a risk um, for me having to go back to India. Tens of thousands of federal public workers have walked off the job. That includes the civil servants who handle immigration files. Clients should expect to experience serious delays with processing applications across all of our immigration streams. Yasmin Izazi is already experiencing delays. So raise your right hand and so join in. She passed her citizenship test but is now stalled at the very last step. It's something that you take pride in, you know, becoming a Canadian citizen and um, just going to that ceremony. Now her ceremony will likely be pushed back. Especially as an Iranian, it's more difficult for me to travel with my current passport. At any given time, around a million applications are making their way through Canada's immigration system. And right now, many of them are on pause because of the strike. Immigration lawyers warn this will have a profoundly negative impact on students, families and the economy. The Canadian government is relying heavily on immigration to deal with a severe labour shortage. Each day will cost a lot to our country, to our economy, to our universities, to our tourism. Every industry sector is going to be affected by this. I want to study. Nanda is hoping for a quick resolution. I want to see employees be satisfied with what they're asking for. But I also want to see international students being cared for a little more, a little more consideration being given to us who are trying to, you know, strive for a better lifestyle here in Canada. The dream of a better life that's just become more complicated. Taria Isri, Global News, Ottawa.